is well on his way to being first team again this year. He's having an incredible season. 19 touchdown passes on the year in just two. Two interceptions. He's very careful with the ball. He plays like a senior. He doesn't get rattled. He's very calm and poised in the pocket. Makes great decisions with the ball. Okay, as a quarterback, the number one thing you want to do is make great decisions with the ball. Number two, you want to be accurate. And he possesses both. Swanson in the backfield with him. The fake to Swanson. Looks like he's going to pass and he's going to get sacked. The right. For the first, the first play coming out the gate. Third 14 now for the Rockets. Empty backfield, five wide out set. Woodside back to throw, lets it fly over the middle, has his receiver, and it's caught by Johnson. That'll be a first down up near the 40 yard line. The accuracy of Woodside on that throw right there, just a great touch throw over the linebacker's head into the hands of Deontay Johnson. 18 yards on third, 14, picking up the first down. Fake to Swanson, back to pass. As a receiver over the middle, and that one's caught by John V. Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. That's why I think they're so proficient in stopping the run on defense. But they lack that in the passing game because the offense, they don't throw the ball that well. This offense does. No, Chris. Uh, and they certainly have uh, on this side to move the football. Woodside back to pass. Tries to find Johnson again and does inside the 25 down to about the 19-yard line. They blitz him if he's given a clean pocket. Art Tompkins now flanking Woodside in the backfield. Fake again. Woodside going to throw underneath. Finds his man. Tompkins fumbles the football. And it looks like Ohio has recovered it, and they have. The Bobcats are adding a lot of pressure so far in this first quarter. And that's something that you normally don't see from uh, the, the OC, I mean the DC, Jim Burrow. Second and seven for the Rockets. Second possession of the game. Woodside surveying the field. Throws over the middle. Can't hook up with his tight end. George. Tough early in the season. Got to give a lot of credit to the offense. The defense played extremely well, too. Led by six at the half before Miami was able to put together a big second half and eventually pull away. Third and seven for Toledo. Woodside back to throw. Receiver falls down, but then gets back up and picks it up. Deontay Johnson picked up the first. The third and long converted by this Toledo offense. We saw a couple in that first drive of the game. And now one here. They're going to do something on uh, the secondary to Bobcats because th that man-to-man -man coverage isn't going to work on Johnson. They're going to just keep going to him all night until you prove you can stop it. He's such a weapon, like Quint said earlier in the, the broadcast. Number, He's 10th in the nation in all-purpose yards. Woodside comes near side to Johnson again. This time it's the other Johnson, John V. Johnson. Control the running game, try to stop the run. Both coordinators come into this game said they need to stop the run. That's the first order of the day. They have to stop the running game. Third down and six now for the Rockets. Pressure's picked up. Now it gets through. Woodside's going to be sacked. We talk about what he's doing this year with the Chiefs. And Burrow, the defensive coordinator for Ohio, said that Terry Swanson, who said that last carry, is a, is a Kareem Hunt clone. <laughs> exactly. It's high praise indeed. Yes, it is. Pass wide open his receiver that time. Daryl Richards brings it in. Got a flag after an eight-yard gain. So the Bobcats decided to go cover four on that play and uh, just threw a hitch route at the top of the screen. That's what you want to do. You want to, you know, run, bring the blitz and play zone behind it. Offense number four was covered up. Five-yard penalty. Second down. McKinley Lewis was starting to play a little zone because of what Deontay Johnson, number three for the Rockets, was doing to them in the passing game when they were bringing pressure and playing man-to-man -man coverage. Third and 12 for the Rockets. Woodside over the middle, finds his receiver, his tight end. Once again, Jordan Fisher makes the catch. Job done on that one. Yeah, but this one shouldn't take long. I mean, it's ob very obvious from this angle right here that the ball goes through his arms. No question. And it's on the ground. I mean. No question about it. This should be, this should be done right now. They should say, yep, incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth 12 from their own. After reviewing the play, the pass was incomplete. The ball here turned to the 43-yard line, where it will be fourth and 12. Why is it Sammy Cassini? It's good. It's fourth 320 at Cincy. He's been eating that Cincinnati chili. I know you like that. I like that stuff. Oh, yeah. I'll eat some. Yeah. Swanson back in the backfield, fakes the hit. 
outside. No room to run either. Desmond Phillips taken down that time. He got tackled for a loss. Now it's third down in Cincinnati to go here for the Rockets. Second down. He's second down because of the penalty. But boy, it is forever. 25. Woodside back to pass. Find Swanson over the middle. He'll pick up a good chunk of that back, but it'll be third down now. Keep the, keep the ball moving, positive direction, but see him now. It's still third and long. I think I get all of it back. Phillips in motion. Woodside back to pass. He's going to go deep. Down the sideline. Great defensive play that time to knock it away. Grab you and making sure the running back was start down. spinning. Yeah, a yeah, defender would say a defensive player would say yeah. just making sure the running back was down. You would probably call it <laughs> dirty pool being an offensive player. A little bit, slightly. I think that was a little extra. We'll keep extra an eye on, twist at the end. Keep an eye on Swanson Woodside. Meanwhile, back to pass, firing this one over to Johnson. He makes the catch, but that's going to be a first down. Ray Johnson is just as talented. You know, he's a very capable receiver. Runs very good routes and has excellent hands. Just not outside him. Dan Zell McKinley Lewis keeps his feet but can't get much out of it. Maybe a yard before Chad Moore, the linebacker, has been all over him. To the quarterback and see where he was going to go with the ball. They didn't have to turn it back because of the man coverage and they were able to come up and make the play, especially the cornerback. Woodside trying Number to go three, over the Evans. tempo. He'll look over to the sideline for the play, changing it up. He's got the big back. She keeps Seymour flanking him in the backfield. Seymour now flips to his left. Nice catch that time. A lot of passing. That, that, was was a, that was an excellent adjustment to the ball that was behind him to grab it with his hands, too. Just a three-man rush for Ohio, giving Woodside all kinds of time, and he overthrows his receiver. And that's what Woodside's going to do. Hurt this guy. They're going to have to lean heavy on Shaquille moving forward. Woodside, quick pass out to John Bay Johnson, who makes the catch, picks up about six yards on first down. Petway, the Auburn running back, who's... Uh, hurt right now exactly yep. big with, a, with enough speed just to be able to be dangerous in the open field Woodside now looking deep left side looking for Johnson touchdown flag on the play but Johnson's able to come in with the football out wrestling Jalen Fox for the ball Seymour just a nifty piece of running by the young by the freshman Woodside now back to throw over the middle has a receiver open can't quite come up with it Denzel McKinley Lewis was. I thought that, thought that he would be. I thought that McKinley Lewis would, would be able to come up with that catch. They caught him in a cover four, so he decided to go in the slot. You get a slot on the same. So well, as is Seymour right now in relief for Terry Swanson, who's banked up in this game. He's had some big runs now into Ohio territory. Woodside, near side, connects with Johnson. He puts the ball in the cover. It's a fumble. And off to the races goes Javon Hagen. He'll be stopped at the 30 yard line. We'll take another look at this one with the original call. But seven, and uh, they sent them a message. This is going to be a dog fight. This is going to be a physical contest. And this is what you're going to get for the rest of the game. I mean, you saw how, what, how successful both of these offenses are coming out of that halftime in the third quarter. And Woodside is going to be brought down. You know, the first play from uh, scrimmage, uh, wanting to throw the ball because that's what they do so well. Number one in the, in the conference and passing offense. But. Just like they started the game, the Bobcats defense, they're putting pressure on Woodside. They're not going to let him sit back there comfortably. They want they want to put him under constant duress. Now it's second and long. Woodside back to pass. It's his back out of the backfield. He's one man miss, but his teammates the ball vertically, but he's going to his checkdowns. And then Ohio's defense is so fast right now, they're swarming to the ball. And those little short, intermediate, and check down throws. Third and 11 for Woodside. Ohio shows pressure. Woodside can't connect with Johnson, and they'll bring up a fourth down. Johnson, and Johnson went up another level to catch that ball, too. 21 yards on the completion. Woodside again, right out of his break. This time can't hook up with Johnson. Woodside fakes the handoff, goes downfield. That ball looked like it might have been tipped at the line of scrimmage. Pump faked it and then brought it back down and then threw the ball. Because I mean, he's right there. Why, why don't you? It seems like the Bobcats are content with keeping everything in front of them, making them try to earn every yard until they make a mistake. 
Woodside now taking the pressure, spins away from it now, trying to throw, decides to keep it. Get what he can out of it on second down, but that's going to bring a third and long. Twelve and a half minutes left to go in this one, and Ohio is leading by three touchdowns. Yeah, and, and, and the Bobcats are breaking pressure, and on the back end, they're playing, you know, a lot of loud zone, but they mix up some man just to throw Woodside off, and they have them eating up the clock, you know, getting... Play, plays are gaining two yards, three yards, four yards like that when they need to gain nine yards here. They need some urgency. Pressure comes and Johnson with the catch trying to get the first down. He's going to be close, but I believe he's going to be short. I think he's short too. Like I said, they need to show some urgency. Two yards shy in the first down on fourth down from their own 42. They're going to go for it. Woodside has big Shaquille Seymour in the backfield. Now he puts him in motion. Emptying out the backfield on fourth down. Goes to his receiver and he throws it high. Couldn't connect. Take another look at that last play, Des. What's going on here in terms of the rush? Well, it's a numbers game at this point. In the right tackle, he should have came down on number 97 as opposed to going out on the edge. Us who grew up with football in the 80s certainly yeah. remember what Notre Dame and Miami meant. Oh, yeah. From a national perspective, it's back. Yes, sir. Big time playoff implications Saturday night on ABC. We got, we got turnover chains and everything. Oh, yeah. All we need is Luke. I want this Luke going to make an appearance. I need to see uh, Uncle Luke. Yeah. And another sack for Ohio. It's Quentin Poling. And we were told about this kid by this Ohio coach. Territory down four touchdowns, seven and a half to go. Yeah, there's desperation now coming from that sideline. Um, to do his offense, just can't get anything going. And you look at the Bobcats' defense right now. Now they've been able to play, they're able to play zone. Keep everything in front of them, come up and make tackles. Underneath to see more get station. I'll tell you what, just an excellent game plan and even better execution by these young men on the field. Fourth and six now for Toledo. They bring Johnson in motion far side in the slot. Woodside over the middle. Can't see more power to the marker. He's close. I think they are looking good polling. The Bobcats are still giving us multiple looks, especially in the secondary on the back end. Woodside finds Johnson wide open, out of bounds at the 22. John Van Johnson that time with the reception. I tell you what, Chris, I'm not a fan of this. Like it's almost like a prevent defense that they're playing right now. I think that they should still keep uh, applying the pressure, play their defense. You know, they're giving up big chunks on the outside now, playing zone. I mean, you understand that they have to have a sense of urgency to lead those offense right now. But if I'm the Bobcats, I don't get away from what, what has got us here so far, and that's being aggressive. Woodside over the middle, looks for a receiver, has one, knocked away at the last second. They've had a lot of fun here in this second half. Oh, yeah. Everyone in green and white has some fun tonight. The singles, this is a big night for the singles, big too. Night. Woodside to pass on fourth down into the flat for his running back. Can't connect with Seymour.